A half inch thickness aluminum plate is subjected to a stress shown. The aluminum material has 10,600 KSI modular plasticity and a Poisson ratio of 0 0.33. Determine the change in the length of vertical side AD, the horizontal side AB, and diagonal direction AC. So I have one plate, it is subjected to a stress in both directions, and I want to determine how much are the deformations. Okay. How can I solve that? It looks easy. I just need to determine strain from stress, then multiply that by the length, and I get the answer. But here it's a little bit tricky. Why? Because I have a stress in both directions. Sigma in x direction is 12,500 psi. It is tension. And stress in the y direction is 7,000 psi. The stress in the x direction causes elongation in the horizontal axis. But I know that because of the Poisson effect, there would be a little contraction on sides. So I have to consider the effect of Poisson ratio in my analysis here. The same is true for sigma y. Sigma y here is 7000 psi. If I drew the element after I apply this load alone in that shape, that would be something like this. It stretches on the y direction, but it shrinks on sides. That is the Poisson effect. So when I combine these two together, I have to take care of all the formations happening in this system. First, I'm going to form a table and determine the effect of each deformation separately. <clears throat> I will first talk about sigma x. Can you tell me how much is the strain in that direction? Just because of sigma x. It's a Hooke's law, okay? So it says that sigma is equal to E epsilon. Sigma x is equal to E times epsilon x. So epsilon x would be a function of sigma x. Epsilon x would be sigma x over E. This is the Hooke's law, okay? So I'm writing that in the table over there. Now, can you tell me how much would be the strain caused in that direction? Epsilon y would be negative nu times epsilon x. How much is epsilon x? It is sigma x over e. So how much would be the strain in that direction? That would be negative nu times sigma x over e. Correct? So a strain in that direction would be negative nu sigma x over e. Correct? Then, I will do the same for the second element. For the second element, how much would be the strain in the y direction? I will use the Hooke's law. So that would be epsilon y would be sigma y divided by e. That is the Hooke's law. I plug the values here. And in the same way, the stress in the x direction here would be negative nu times epsilon y, which I plug the values into that equation, and that gives me negative nu times sigma y over e. So these are the total deformations that I have. Now, can you tell me how much is the total epsilon x? Because of sigma x and sigma y, I need to add everything in the second column. So epsilon x would be sigma x over e minus nu sigma y over e. The same is true for epsilon y. That would be sigma y over e minus nu sigma x over e. All right? So now let me use this generalized Hooke's law here. The vertical deformation in the AD direction I need to determine how much is epsilon y, then multiply that by the length, which is 40 inch. So epsilon y, I just plug the values into that equation, is sigma y over e, 7000 psi over e, 
minus nu times sigma x over e. And that gives me total strain in the y direction. So that would be 271, 10 to the minus 6 strain. Okay. The total change in the vertical direction would be strain times length in the vertical direction. So a strain is 271 10 times 10 to the minus 6, and length is 40 inch in the y direction, and that gives me 0 0.0108 inch. On side AB, I'm following the same procedure. Epsilon x would be sigma x over e minus nu times sigma y over e. I plug the values into this equation. That gives me epsilon x equal to 961 times 10 to the minus 6. And I multiply that by the initial length in the x direction, which is 20 inch. So deformation would be 961 times 10 to the minus 6 times 20 inch. And that gives me 0 0.0192 inch. That is change in the length in the AB direction. Okay, how can I, I have answered the first two parts. How can I answer the very last part? The change in the AC direction. This is what I should use here. That, that gives me the deformation in the diagonal direction. Okay, 